In about the year 1880, our forefathers gave heed to the desire on the MacDougall Plantation as a mission to serve the Lord. They were four in number. Later, they moved to the site of the Sugartown Cemetery, now called Community Cemetery, and erected what is called a Bush Tabernacle. In 1892, after moving to the present location, they organized the Mount Zion Baptist Church. The pastor was Reverend Ethan Jackson. The deacon was Brother Saul Ivey. The church was named by Deacon Saul Ivey. The superintendent of Sunday school was Brother Hugh Dawkins. Other members were Miss Frances Williams, Miss Sarah Thomas, and Mr. Clem Story. The total offerings per Sunday was from $1.25 to $3. Well, I, I, I stood on the three pastors, Reverend uh, Cook, Reverend Terry, and Pastor William. And I remember when, when we first started, when I first got there, we were praying twice a Sunday, a month, first and third, praying tenth on a Sunday. And, and it should have grown from a small church to a big church. Oh, down through the years, the Lord's been good to me. In 1900, Reverend Daniel Griffin Jr. was called to pastor Mount Zion Baptist Church. Under his leadership, the organization expanded physically and spiritually. The departments organized were the deacon board, ushers, missionary society, vocal choir, instrumental choir, BYPU, and several church organizations. An outside baptism pool was built. Members no longer needed to seek out available streams and creeks. The building frame was enlarged and a brick structure was erected. The church became very involved with the district organization. Reverend Griffin was the moderator. Miss Lula Mills was the first president of the district women. It is impossible to mention all who gave their time and talents to the organization during the Griffin Pastorate. Some of the early years deacons were W.H. Pinkston, Lewis Davis, Warren Spencer, Ula Sneed, and Albert Deloney. They all served for 40 years. In 1940, Reverend Griffin went to be with the Lord. See, I'm trying to tell you down through the years, the Lord been good to me. Hallelujah. In 1940, God sent us Reverend James Carter Cook. Reverend Cook served for 37 years. Under Reverend Cook, the membership grew. The church was highly inspired by its leadership. They continued to participate on state and national levels. The first thing come to my mind is that when I joined the church, I joined under Reverend Cook, and he was such a tall man in stature, yet he stood tall in the community. Um, Reverend Cook, was known not only just locally in East Alabama, he was known in the state throughout the national. Also what come to mind is the fellowship that we used to have with our sister churches. That was Pine Hill, Nichols Chapel, and, and Mount Moriah, and Pleasant Grove. That was a good community togetherness. So I remember all of that back in when we, that's come to my mind when I think of 146 years here at Greater Mount Zion. Thank you. He's an on time God. Yes, he oh. Reverend Cook was also the moderator of the district. Under Pastor Cook, the Sunday school grew from five classes to 12. Two more choirs were organized. One usher board grew to three. The Missionary Society became a union of four circles and matrons. Pastor Cook was a great leader. 
the physical facilities were remodeled, a fellowship area added, then a new facility was erected. A central heating and cooling system and an audio unit was placed in the sanctuary. The baptism pool was moved to the inside. An organ and a new piano were also purchased. On September 13, 1976, Reverend Cecil Terry was elected associate minister. On November 15, 1977, Reverend Cecil Terry was elected as pastor. The church membership continued to grow, another choir was organized, another matron circles, and a Bible study group was added. Pastor Terry served 22 years. Pastor Terry retired in 1999. In March 2000, Noble D. Williams became pastor. He retired from Norfolk Southern Railroad after 23 years of service to answer the call of God. Being uh, members of the Greater Mount Zion and the Greater Mount Zion family has meant a great deal to my family as well as myself. Um, we have grown in our ministries. We, we love serving in our ministries. And we're thankful for being under the leadership of Pastor Nobody Williams as well as um, First Lady Dorothy Williams. Being here at Greater Mount Zion has taught us service, how to serve. It has also taught us how to be leaders. And um, this ministry has also just, we've grown in our ministry under Pastor Nobody Williams and First Lady Dorothy Williams' guidances. And we just appreciate their continuous guidance and leadership. I love you, Pastor and First Lady. Pastor Williams is married to Dorothy Williams. In 2018, Pastor and First Lady Williams celebrated 18 years in ministry. Pastor Williams grew up in Greater Mount Zion and previously served as Sunday school teacher and associate minister. Under Pastor Williams' leadership, Greater Mount Zion became a nonprofit organization and completed its 501c3 paperwork. Pastor William is a great leader and a teacher who stresses the importance of studying it and being obedient to the Word of God. Pastor Williams installed the first female minister, the late minister Yvette Sow. In addition, Pastor Williams oversees several ministers on staff at Greater Mount Zion and serve as a mentor and father in ministry to many pastors. Under Pastor Williams, the church has grown spiritually and physically. We have an explosive youth ministry. In 2018, we implemented our Kingdom Kids curriculum geared to teach our children basic biblical principles. Young achievers encourage excellence in academics, tutoring programs, along with youth ministry, inspiring our youth to reach their God-given potential. Our youth have a great variety of ways to serve in the kingdom. Several new ministries have been added under Pastor Williams' leadership. I was asked the question, what does Greater Mount Zion Baptist Church mean to me? Four words, faith, family, fellowship, and fun. GMZ is the place that is providing me with a spiritual foundation. Scripture says, train a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Pastor William makes the word plain so we can understand it and apply it to our daily lives. And oh yeah, he's cool too. Our youth church keeps it real as it relates to the word of God also. We are family here at GMZ. I always feel at home when I am here. And I believe if I'm ever in need, they will be here for me. In 2008, the sanctuary was renovated to add additional seating, state-of-the-art technology, monitors, and widescreen viewing. A church bus, kingdom properties, a storage facility, Genesis House, Exodus House, over 12 land property acquisitions in Phoenix City was purchased, which value over $300,000. On October the 14th, 2012, the Walk of Faith Memorial Garden was dedicated. It features a water fountain, engraved bricks of former pastors, current and former members, business relationships, friends, and families of Greater Mount Zion. It also features cornerstones from former Greater Mount Zion church buildings. 
On June 16, 2013, a historical marker commemorating the history of Greater Mount Zion Baptist Church was dedicated and placed where the original 1912 church sat. Today, this is a parking lot. Sister Dorothy Pickett's research enabled this process. And 2015, God blessed us to pay off a $1.5 million educational building. We celebrated by burning the mortgage. Time for us to make a choice and take a stand. All that we need is resting in his hand. It's a new... In October 2016, the sit-in cafe was dedicated. It features pictures from the civil rights movement. It is a place to eat and fellowship in between services and also helps our youth understand black history and how blessed we as black people are due to the struggles and sacrifices of those who helped to pave the way for equality. More importantly, several new souls have confessed Jesus as their Lord and Savior and added to the church body. We are a church alive and full of the Holy Spirit and God continues to add to his church. Greater Mount Zion is truly blessed. We never could have made it without God. Therefore, we speak the safest place in all the world is in the will of God. We love you, Pastor and Empress Lady. Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. In closing, Three words come to mind when you think about 146 years. They are leadership, legacy, and longevity. Greater Mount Zion is truly blessed. We never could have made it without God. We believe, therefore we speak. The safest place in all the world is in the will of God. I would have lost it all. But now See how you were there for me and I can say